Fix the installation failed in the first boot phase error. Fix the installation failed in the first boot phase error. If you are upgrading to Windows 10 or upgrading to a new major update from Microsoft then chances are the installation may fail and you will be left with an error message saying, we couldn't install. Windows 10. If you look closely you will find some additional information at the bottom which would be an error code hexadecimal C1900101 hexadecimal 30018 or hexadecimal 8007004 hexadecimal 3000D depending upon the type of error. So these are the following error which you can receive. Hexadecimal 8007004 hexadecimal 3000D the installation failed in the first underscore boot phase with an error during migrate underscore date operation. Hexadecimal C1900101 hexadecimal 30018 the installation failed in the first underscore boot phase with the error during sysprep the installation failed in the first underscore boot phase with an error during boot operation. Now all the above errors are either caused due to incorrect registry configuration or due to device driver's conflict. Sometimes third-party software can also cause the above errors, so we need to troubleshoot the issue and fix the cause in order to resolve this error. So without wasting any time let's see how to actually fix the installation failed in the first boot phase error with the help of below listed troubleshooting guide. Make sure to create a restore point just in case something goes wrong. Note. Make sure to disconnect any external devices connected to PC. 1. Right click on the antivirus program icon from the system tray and select disable. 2. Next, select the time frame for which the antivirus will remain disabled. Note. Choose the smallest amount of time possible for example 15 minutes or 30 minutes. 3. Once done, again try to connect to the Wi-Fi network and check if the error resolves or not. 7. Now from the left window pane click on Turn Windows Firewall On or Off. 8. Select Turn Off Windows Firewall and restart your PC. Again try to open Google Chrome and see if you're able to fix the installation failed in the first boot phase error. If the above method doesn't work make sure to follow the exact same steps to turn on your firewall again. 2. Next, again click Check for Updates and make sure to install any pending updates. 3. After the updates are installed reboot your PC and see if you're able to fix the installation failed in the first boot phase error. If nothing works till now then you should definitely try running Windows Update Troubleshooter from Microsoft website itself and see if you're able to fix the installation failed in the first boot phase error. This would make sure that if any third party application is conflicting with Windows Update then you will be able to successfully install Windows Updates inside Clean Boot. Sometimes third-party software can conflict with Windows Update and therefore cause Windows Update to be stuck. In order fix the installation failed in the first boot phase error, you need to perform a clean boot in your PC and diagnose the issue step by step. In order to install Windows Update upgrade successfully, you will need at least 20 GB of free space on your hard disk. It not likely that the update will consume all the space but it's a good idea to free at least 20 gigabytes of space on your system drive in order for the installation to complete without any problems. 2. Now type the following commands to stop Windows Update services and then hit enter after each one. 3. Next, type the following command to rename software distribution folder and then hit enter. 4. Finally, type the following command to start Windows Update Services and hit Enter after each one. 5. Reboot your PC to save changes. 1. Press Windows key plus R then type regedit and hit Enter to open Registry Editor. 2. Navigate to the following registry key. 3. If you don't find the OS Upgrade key then right click on Windows Update and select New Key. 4. Name this key as OS Upgrade and hit Enter.